Hello, I am Sidi Dure from the University of Škodra Luis Guracuci in Albania. I am going to present you our paper titled Definition of a Classification of the Difficulties in Linear Algebra and Psychological Terms. In this paper, we focuses on the discourse on the classification of students' errors and mistakes in linear algebra in points to the significance of understanding of student learning difficulties and errors as part of human nature and as a drive to improve student learning and at the same time as crucial for the enhancement of the overall learning process. Overview as a beginning, the theoretical framework that has been divided into two parts, errors and mistakes, a possible classification of errors in mathematics, after we go to define a classification of the difficulties in linear algebra. Identifying mistakes helps lecturers to find out the gaps in students' knowledge and skills, to classify them and to determine the proper recovery strategies. It also helps the teacher to tailor teaching, talking into account students' individual needs, their interests and their abilities. The difference that exists between errors and mistake which we find in the psychological terms. Such a distinction was already made by Weimer in the 1920s. In his opinion, error and mistake differ in the sense that the error is based on the ignorance of certain facts essential for the exact recognition, while the mistake is generated by the divisive activity of three functions, attention, memory, and thoughts that govern the completion of each work. Therefore, while error has an objective basis, mistake is essentially a subjective factor. A denomination of mistakes. I am going to cite Pallery, 2014. Wrong manners resulting from a lack of attention or adequate control, wrong habits or incorrectly developed automatism. In the figures, we show examples of adders. Directional vector of a straight line in space represented in the Cartesian form. Then the vector product of two vectors come out with a number. In this figure, we show examples of mistakes. The students write a vector equals to three vectors. He doesn't know what's he writing. He is not careful. Much of the survey on the type of errors that occur in mathematics dates back to the 80s, but it's still very legitimate for the current survey. Watson classifies errors based on problem solving but in the widest way on a cognitive and not on a cognitive level. Reading skills. Can the pupil read the question? Understanding. Can the pupil understand the questions? Transformation. Is the learner able to select the necessary mathematical operations that I require to obtain the solution? Process skills. Can the learner carry out the necessary mathematical operations for the tasks? Coding. Is the pupil able to write down the answer in an acceptable form? Motivation. Could the pupil have correctly solved a problem if he or she has tried? Inattention. The pupil could perform the steps but makes a negligent mistake, which is impossible to repeat. Question pattern. The pupil makes an error because of the way the problem was presented. Our classification depends on model to choose from, information, elaboration, problem solving, etc nature of the discipline itself 
and characterization of the various areas of mathematics, the error it takes, so cognitive level. Attitudes and beliefs of students toward mathematics, who makes the mistake, so metacognitive and non-cognitive level. The classification scheme is shown in the following figure. In the classifiable difficulties, enter those errors that we know for sure their paternity, while in the unclassifiable difficulties belong to us those errors that paternity is uncertain. In the typology of errors, the nature of the mathematical arguments is well understood, especially in the case of error 3, while most of the mistakes have to do with non-cognitive level. Difficulties classifiable. Classification of errors. A1 represents an appropriate use of the data, association incorrect or rigidity in the information, elaboration of the requisites, answer caused by difficulties in the reading. The student does not read the key words or the symbol and the statement of the questions. Decoding, the student does not understand the meaning of the words, symbols and text of the question system. Reading, the student does not read the key words in the statement of the questions, does not read the given scalar product. Here we have another inappropriate use of the data. Decoding the student does not understand the meaning of the text of the questions. He doesn't understand the meaning of the subspace W and W anti T. Another example of an appropriate use of the data. Coding. The student understands the data of the problem, but she is not able to write them correctly in the sem semiotic system more suitable to get the answer. She writes equals instead of implies and also forget to write the commas. Error types A2, linguistic deficiency. It means the students are not able to understand and to manipulate mathematical objects by means various type of semiotic representation both at synthetic and semantic level. A3 Cognitive and metaconnective deficiency. This kind of error can be caused by basic deficiencies, construction of conceptual notes, lacking from definition, preposition, and their properties, observation, colliery, theorems, algorithm, procedures. E4. Incorrect logical dedu deduction. This kind of error is caused by the application of inappropriate rules or strategies. Here we have an example of error E2, linguistic deficiency. It is misspelled both verbally and symbolically. In this type of error E3, cognitive and metacognitive deficiency. This kind of error can be caused by constructions and conceptual nodes lagging from algorithms, the inverse of the matrix with the Gauss method. Cognitive and metacognitive deficiency. This kind of error can be caused by construction of conceptual nodes lacking from proposition and their properties. Here we see the directional vector of a straight line in the space represented in the Cartesian form. Cognitive and metacognitive deficiency also in this kind of error can be caused by construction of conceptual nodes lagging from definition, the determinant of matrix. This is not a square matrix. Example error type E4, incorrect logical deduction. This kind of error is caused by the application of inappropriate rules or strategies. 
the student takes one theorem for another. He or she misses the main characterization of the diagonalization with the spectral theorem. Classification of mistake. M1, lack of control and feedback. The students do not demonstrate step by step what the problem requires. They do not verify the concepts, solutions. They don't carry on the clean sheet the accounts and the steps shown, but they only write the final result. They do not check their product with respect to theoretical concepts and results. They do not write verbally at all. They use a personal shorthand. M2. Technical mistakes. The students incorrect calculus. Particular mistakes, signs, brackets, symbols, letters, signs instead of another, etc. M3. Harlow error factor. The students make a correct procedure which gives a correct answer but which is not what required by the given problem. M4. Lack of answer to some questions. The students relinquish some questions corresponding to topics they did not study. Leave the problem and the question in half. M5. Coding mistakes. The students do not order the answer or do not make any reference to the related questions. They solve subsequent questions without taking into account the relations among them and they do not put their name on the worksheets or do not number the pages. M6. A priori evaluation of the difficulties. The students are not able or do not pay attention to evaluate the difficulties of each question or problem, which also includes to be able to choose the easier solution strategy. Mistake 1. A lack of control and feedback. They do not write verbally at all. They use a personal shorthand. He or she does not write verbally, so does not explain what the matrix represents. Technical mistakes. The students writes comma instead of plus, uses double brackets that he doesn't need. Harlow error factors. The students make a correct procedure, which does give a correct answer, but which is not what required by the given problem. He or she finds the base of the outer space V2 and normalizes it as well, but it is not what it is what not asked by the question. M4. Lack of answer to some questions. The students relinquish some questions corresponding to topics they did not study, leave the problem and questions in half. Difficulties not classifiable. Error or mistake? What kind of errors? Error or mistake? Error like E3, lack of prepositions. Doesn't he know that the size of a vector subspace is a number? Type of M2. Technical mistake. Write the parenthesis you don't need. E1. Reading error. Does not read the question. V entity that takes it for V or error type E3. Lack of algorithm does not know how to calculate an autonormal base of V and T. Conclusions The interpretation of error is very delicate but highlighting difficulties in the sense from stimulating to understanding the root of errors and not only to eliminating them immediately. The effort to take the learners rather than the expert's point of view. The individual individual and collective control of errors. Therefore, the need for the student to perceive their limits as a prerequisite for correcting them. The same matter in different subjects 
come from different objects and we have a focus on the student who moves from the orientation of the performance to the orientation of learning. The classification of errors communicates how to identify good recovery strategies, especially in the planning of such activities. Parity must be given to personalizing learning so the paths to be built differ according to the difficulties to the specific student. Thank you very much for your attention.